My book is different because it talks about how it felt to me uh, to be part of that, and particularly how it felt to be somebody who was a middle manager at a well-established 150-year-old company coming into an explosive startup of 50 people and writing it from 50 people to 10,000, 20,000 people. It was somewhat disorganized um, and very chaotic, but the thing that impressed me the most was the energy level. Um, there was just a constant sense of motion and, and productivity. Urs Holzl, who was the head of engineering, had a saying, good enough is good enough. And so he would take products to 80% completion, and then he'd start working on the next thing. And his philosophy was that last 20% wasn't really necessary um, for the product to be successful. It was more important to get the product out the door and get feedback from real users. I know that Larry in particular is a visionary. He's looking way out in the future always and surprised me on many occasions with how deeply he had thought about some of the problems we were facing and how far into the future he was looking in terms of Google's development. Sergey has more of um, a sense of humor. It's a fairly sly sense of humor. Larry's a little quieter, more reserved, um, but uh, they're both very decent people. One of the small things that I take great pride in is naming AdWords. And um, at the time, it amused me because it's a pun somewhat on my name, Edwards, um, which I always found kind of fun. Um, but most importantly, I think, was giving a voice to Google as a company. And I wrote all of the content for the website and the April Fool's jokes and 10 things we found to be true. And, and formulating a, a voice for our users um, took a lot of time and I, I think uh, really humanized Google uh, in many ways. Do No Evil was originally um, intended only for internal consumption. It was not intended or expected to become the Google's, uh, Google's external mantra. Um, that slipped out at, at one point, but it really was taken very seriously internally. Um, the engineer who came up with that, Paul Buchheit, who was also uh, the engineer who wrote Gmail, um, felt very strongly that that was an overall principle that we could all adhere to. I wish that I could claim great prescience in going to Google, but it was really somewhat a matter of chance for me. And the fact that it ended up in the success that it did and that uh, it enabled me to enjoy the success that I've had really leaves me feeling, as I say in the book, quite lucky.